out. Nuclear engineers at UC Berkeley also showed us why it's impossible for the fuel rods in Japan to catch on fire. This is a piece of cladding, just like the ones found in the Japanese reactor cores, exposed to 2,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than it could ever get inside the core. If the cladding burnt, the nuclear fuel inside would send huge amounts of radioactive particles into the atmosphere. It's worse to have it on fire, much worse to have it on fire. Uh, because then the fire, the smoke becomes a way to spread the material that's inside. The test proved the rods, while they would suffer some damage, would not catch on fire. The Japanese reactors have another layer of protection. Pools of water act as moderators, unlike Chernobyl, which had graphite. Graphite and coal uh, can burn, and, and burns pretty violent. And uh, so if you have a fire, it distributes uh, radioactive particles much better than just water and steam would do. Whereas in the Japanese reactors, uh, it's a, it's a water-cooled, water-moderated core, so there's, no, there's nothing that burns in there.